You are the fire. There is an old saying that goes something like this. Men date blondes, marry brunettes, and have affairs with redheads. <laughs> is there any truth to any of that? Or do blondes really have more fun? Believe it or not, we're going to try and find out for ourselves in a very unique way today. As you can see, we've kind of made a section of half the audience that are brunettes and the other half that are blondes. I am uh, not so proud to say that I am a natural redhead slash blonde. Uh, but just so that I don't play any favorites, I'm going to host the second half of this show as a brunette. The first half as a blonde. Is that fair? Yes? Let's get started. Kim and Craig have been married three years. As you can see, Kim is a very pretty brunette. However, when she first met Craig, she was not a brunette, she was a blonde. Craig wants her back. I mean, <laughs> he wants her to return to the fun party girl he married when she was a blonde. Next to them is Katie. Katie is very beautiful. She is a model and an actress. And she is also brunette. What she is considering is going blonde. She says, you know, this may be a big boost to her career. Will being blonde be better? I want you to meet someone who may have some of the answers. And it's really a thrill. He is known throughout the world as the top colorist. He has worked with many models and celebrities. And he's the guy responsible for changing supermodel Linda Evangelista's many hair colors. She is the model who went from brunette to red to blonde, back to red to platinum. And I believe the last time I saw her, which was at a party on Friday, she was a brunette. I think, yes, at this point. There it is. Thanks to you, right? Today. Say hello to Louis Lacari. Now, in all fairness, I have to tell you that Lewis also serves as Clairol's color consultant. Why do we have this fascination, Lewis, with being blonde? Well, Why? You know, Why does that? It's always been through movies. It's through through movies. I mean, think about Marilyn Monroe. I mean, certainly one of the most glamorous, sexy women that we can think of today. Uh, Madonna, who's a very glamorous, or and you know, uh, we notice Madonna no matter what. Sometimes she's a fashionable blonde, sometimes she's a fashionable br brunette, but we always notice her as a blonde. Uh, I think that part of it is because only, you know, there's only 16% of women are born naturally blonde. What percent? 16%. So, in fact, that if you do choose to be blonde, you do choose to be noticed. When a man enters a room, he looks at the blondes first. Often. Often. I read somewhere that going blonde can make you look younger. Uh, is that true? That's what I have been told. Well, certainly, uh, to make to go a little bit lighter around the face can make you throw a little bit of light on your face. Now, this is not only again, this is something that's great for blondes, so you can put a few highlights around the face. But even if you're brunette, you can put a few lighter tones around your face to make your skin color come alive. To give you, to, it's the same thing as wearing a little bit of makeup. Katie, what is with you? <laughs> well, um, I think you look lovely. Why do you well, want to be you. a blonde? Well, I first of all, my sister and my brother are, have naturally beautiful blonde hair, and I was born with this dark curly hair. I, they used to tell me I was adopted all the time. So ever since then, I'm ah. like, I need to have blonde hair. But um, the reason I've decided to finally do it today is because. Um, more for myself, I'm a pretty spontaneous kind of person. I, and to be honest with you, I really just decided yesterday I was going to do this. And um, so I think it's just, you know, the whole spontaneity of it, it's fun. Summer's coming up. And I think as our clothes, we can take a little bit more risks with right. our clothing and what we're wearing in the summer. Hair can go right along with that, you know, and, and makeup and things like that. So I think most of all, it's going to be a, a fun change for me. Right. Now, Katie is so typical right here where she says, I want to have fun with my color. Mm -hmm. And the fact that she's even realizing that her color can change not quite as frequently as her hemline, but, you know, you can have fun. You can be blonder. You can be darker. We don't have to be so serious about our hair color today. Right. Well, I don't believe in being serious about much of anything anymore. <laughs> uh, Kim, you were a blonde when right. you met your husband, Craig. You're now back to your natural, is this your natural hair color? Well, no, not really. I was born blonde also. You have, you're a natural blonde who makes her hair darker? No, it went, naturally as I got older, it went darker. And I would dye it to keep it blonde, but it got to be so much work that 
oh, I so just kind of natural hair color. Let now. it go. All right. What's the problem? Well, I don't think there's so much of a problem, but my husband and I, we really do love each other, but he wants me back to being blonde. Uh -huh. He thinks I'm not fun anymore. <laughs> Do you think it'll make you happier? Um, happier as in the marriage, um, maybe, in his eyes. But I think we really don't have a problem other than the fact that he wants me blonde. Craig, <laughs> why? Why? Gotta have it. Gotta have it. That's it. <laughs> can, you, can you explain why? You told our producers you think there would be more passion, more sex in your life if she were blonde. More spice, definitely more spice. All right. <laughs> Kim, do you think that by going blonde it's gonna do more for you? Um, I think it might add a little. I mean, like she said, I'm pretty easy going, but I want him to accept me for me. Thank you. Yeah. Taking a dramatic change is a big decision. We're gonna ask Katie if she's sure. You sure you wanna go blonde? Yeah, I think I've, I'm in good hands here with Lewis. Thank All you. All right, you are in the best hands in the world. Uh, Kim, your situation may be a little more complicated. Do you really wanna go blonde? Well, Sally, I'm really not sure. I mean, part of me says okay. yes, part of me says no. All right, Katie is gonna become a blonde, so she's gonna go run off with Lewis Lacari, which isn't a bad idea. All right. <laughs> in case you want to run off with somebody else, Lewis, I'm available. To run off with. Uh, and that's going to be a dramatic change, mm -hmm. and we're going to see her later on in the show. With Kim, you're not sure if you want to go all the way and make the change, so you're going to stick around and listen to what some of the guests have to say. This is what they have to say. Is it possible that coloring your hair blonde can make you lose weight? Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> you're going to hear one guest claim that going blonde is linked to weight loss, and I don't think you want to miss this. Stay with us. You want to reconsider? Listen, in case you thought that was for real, because you never know, uh, that was like a 1950-something Clairol commercial. We know, uh, to me, that was so funny, that hairstyle. Well, do blondes really have more fun? The door opens and there's a guy standing there. It's summertime, and you're going to see a lot of summer's golden highlights around town, so you can decide for yourself. Earlier in the show, you met Kim and Craig. Craig wants his wife to go blonde. Kim isn't sure if this is right for her. Kim, I want you to listen closely to what my next guest have to say. Please meet Nancy. Nancy is naturally a brunette who says that if she didn't go blonde, she never would have lost over 65 pounds and started her own business. Next door is Vicky. Vicky is a dancer who said blondes are sexier than brunettes because they have to uphold the image. That image left behind of Marilyn Monroe and Jean Harlow and Mae West. Adrian says she started bleaching her hair blonde at the age of 12. She says blondes are smartest when they play up the dumb blonde image. And next to Adrian is Heather. Heather decided to go blonde a few months ago because all her blonde friends got more attention. Well, looks to me like she's back as a brunette. She said she got the wrong kind of attention. And finally meet Fran. Fran says as a brunette, she can be sexy, fun, and smart. And to prove it, Fran proves that she's a smart brunette. She is listed in the Guinness Book of Records for the fastest talker. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot to say about brunettes in just a little time. First, I wanna to talk to Adrian. Adrian, you bleached your hair at 12? Well, I begged from the side, I was 10 years old and begging because I had been born a blonde and my hair started turning dark. And it does at seven. That's the age where your baby blonde well, little bumpkin. Yes, but there was another seven-year-old, and her hair didn't change. And everybody thought she was wonderful, Susie. And I went off to a different school, and Susie went off to a different school. And by the time we were in the eighth grade, Susie had these roots that came down to here, and I had blonde hair. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> it worked out just fine. I was in a show, and so it was a good excuse. I got it dyed because I was going to play a dumb blonde in a show. And then after that, I just kept it blonde, and I've always been happy with it. Vicki, you say that blondes are sexier because of the image they have to uphold. Aren't those images stereotypes? Don't you have a stereotype of that? Like if you're you dumb? Do, oh, who cares? It's an image, and I love it, and I love being me, and I'll always oh, be a blonde. Oh, All right. I want to ask Fran, why, what do you believe are the main differences between blondes and brunettes? Okay, Fran, okay, well, first of all, I mean, you're right. In advertising, they do show, a lot of times they show blondes, you know, that they're, they're the ones having more fun. But I think it, fun does not come from the color of your hair and out of a bottle. It comes from who you are as a person. I don't... Well, you know, I don't have a problem meeting guys. I have a lot of fun. I've bungee cord jumped. I've walked on hot coals. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. I do I a lot of things. I don't have to do that, and I'm a blonde. And I love it. So what does that have to do with what I'm saying? Because okay. you're walking on hot coals. Why would you want to walk on hot coals? Wait, wait a minute. I like doing that. Fran does blonde. talk a little fast. It's a little hard for me to understand. Hey, ladies. As you see, I'm neither blonde nor brunette. Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> the point being, it's the individual's mentality. You can have a dumb blonde, a dumb brunette, a dumb whatever. Mm -hmm. It depends on the individual, okay? I have fun just being me. Half the time I stay in the barbershop more than the average man. But it's the individual, okay? Because I love cutting my hair. That's and I true, will, but like I said, let me finish. You got the floor, you. but I got it right now. One second. Okay. <laughs> the point being, you, you're saying you have something to uphold. I've never been blonde, so I can't go that way. But I'm saying you'd you, look good as a blonde. Well, honey, you pay for it, I'll do it. <laughs> What I'm saying to you, listen, you know I'm serious, Sally. I do know you're serious. Hello. <laughs> but the whole point is, it's the individual and the mentality of the individual, okay? You can be any color here, but if you have a dirty heart, you're a dirty person, okay? So, hello. Heather, I want to jump over to you for a minute. Heather, why well, did you go? I'm, I, Heather, why did you go blonde? Well, I have two blonde friends, and... They have a lot of fun, one of them in particular, and I decided me and her were going out, and I wanted to try it. What happened? Well, I did it. We went out, and I tried it for three months. I got a lot of attention that wasn't the kind I was looking for. Yes. Guys think that they can pull one over on you. That's they think that... That's not true one, no, not that, at all. That's but what it, how about the individual? In my case, in my now, case, How about Ivana was. Trump? Do you think they're looking at Ivana Trump and saying, hey, baby? They at least well, try. You think by being blonde, that's the reason that all of a sudden... It comes with your self-esteem. If you have self-esteem, you're going to get attention, whether you're brunette or whether you're blonde, not out of a bottle. And if first of all, as far as weight is concerned, let me tell you something. If everybody lost weight, because I don't know which one of you is the one that said the thing about the weight with the blonde. Who lost the weight? The weight? You lost 65 pounds okay, by going blonde? Okay, but what did they have to do? If that was it, Weight Watchers would hand people a bottle of blonde dye as they see you next week. Yes, ma'am. First of all, we're yes. not even discussing weight. These girls, so wait a minute, the blonde, they, they look absolutely gorgeous up here. Don't. And you. you gotta give this one a lot of credit because That's she right. did lose the weight. No. Are you jealous? Is that why you're no, so... Uh, no, I don't think... Are you jealous? I think you're jealous. Wait, wait a second. I think you're very envious. You think I'm jealous? Wait a minute. You think I'm jealous? First of all, being jealous that she lost weight, I think it's great that she lost weight. That's not the issue. She did not lose the weight because she's blonde. She lost the weight That's because she had wrong. better self esteem, as, 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 as a blonde. No, no, she right. had I'm glad we all agree. Every show right. turns right. out like this oh, lately. No, okay, Nancy, how else did you lose the weight because you got blonde? Is that what happened? makes her feel more attractive A little over a year ago, I started lightening my hair gradually. Yes. And I thought I looked pretty good and it got lighter and lighter and lighter and I thought I looked really hot until I looked from here down and I thought now who's that chubby chick under the blonde hair <laughs> and I got a lot of attention not the negative kind no I didn't say you did mm -hmm. I got positive attention people who but I think it's because of my personality too I don't I don't. Your personality didn't change because it changed because you're blonde. Because all of a sudden, when you were blonde, you felt better. But it's not in the bottle that made you lose the weight. No, I. What happened? This is the point. I'm more confident now in my appearance. Look, whatever it took to improve my appearance. Well, if you're gonna change hair in the middle of the day, let me tell you something. I have blondes for separate occasions. Now, this is my blonde for more frilly, happier times. Here's my blonde for when I. I have blonde for everything. What is that? 
Now these are just two of my blondes, but I have about 15 different blondes, and it depends on what I want to be. How do you look in that? Put that thing you know, on. We'll say, yeah, yeah, put that one on. I can't on. see myself. But in I'm a sorry. recent study yeah. conducted by Allure magazine, it was discovered that the percentage of Miss Americas from 1985 to 1990 who were blonde totaled 66%. And in that same study, uh, it was discovered that female anchors on network TV shows who are blonde total 64%. So if you want to be in broadcasting, go blonde. <laughs> but it's different ones for different things. It depends on what I'm doing. That's you know? And the same thing with my color blonde. They, you know, on my days that I want to be blonde, blonde, I can be blonde, blonde. Yes. And I'll tell you what, when you're sexy, I you think feel you, it. And when you put on something I, like that, you feel it. Excuse me. Your hair color. Is he making love to you or excuse to your me. hair? First of all, you can hand him the well, hair. I don't, I don't see why you have so many wigs. What do you have? Different personalities? Can't you just be yourself? Oh, no. If I'm going to a business meeting, I need a certain blonde. If I want to be a dumb blonde, I need another blonde. Well, that's I've got seven, seven kids. This is my home blonde. You know? it's, it just depends it's on It's all about room. a show fusing. <laughs> don't you it's all about acting. Well, do you wear a hat all the time? Of course no. not. It's your mood. Do men want women who are blonde more than they want women who are brunettes. Let's oh, hear from the so. men next. And don't forget, later in the show, I'll get to be a... What do they want? They want blondes. I'll be going to become a brunette. Maybe it's a look I'll keep. You are the fuck. You're the fuck. Did you ever wonder how some of your favorite celebrities would look if they changed their hair to blonde or to brunette? Well, we have the help of the computer, and we have erased the mystery. Here is top model Cindy Crawford as a blonde. No, I don't think that's so bad. No, you don't like it, okay? Ever wonder what Pamela Anderson would look like as a brunette? No. What do you think? Nope. Mm -mm. I like her better as a brunette. Oh, stop. Everyone is talking about Michael Jackson's comeback. Well, a bottle of bleach <laughs> might help. Here's Michael as a blonde. <laughs> hey, why not, right? Didn't he have that song, Scream? <laughs> Maybe uh, after the show, those celebrities will decide to be daring and make a change. I'm going to take the plunge and become a brunette after this break, so stick around. I don't want you to miss this. Right now, meet Paul and Bill. Paul says blonde women are sexier and more fun to be with. Bill says he'd date a brunette over a blonde any day because the blondes are fakes. You can't trust a blonde. Bill, what brings you to that conclusion? Over here. <laughs> um, what brings the conclusion that they're fake and untrustworthy? Uh, maybe well, you're maybe you're speaking for yourself. Uh, no. See, no, my hair is real. See, I, I, my hair is real. So you better spend the extra ten and finish your hair. I, you know, I, get I, a lot, I get a lot of attention. I like being a blonde. I love being a blonde. I get a lot and of attention. I don't care whether I'm blonde. ditzy. All right, anyway. Oh, you get a lot of attention I, because I you're do. goofy. I do. You know why? You know why? Because I get stereotyped. <laughs> I get stereotyped. You know how women get stereotyped as ditzy morons? As that blondes? Mean you have to be one. You can be smart. No, as I get a stereotyped blonde, like that too because say well, if, I got news for if you somebody asks you a question, what do you say? Hey, let me think a minute. Because you don't know. That's not true. No, I dated a blonde girl. I dated one blonde girl in my life, Sally. One. And she chased me Damn down the road in her car because I tried to break up with her. Why? Because she cheated on me. And she just, you know, she's just walking around like, hey, hey. We, we go out to a, I work in a nightclub. But we, you we, are a blonde. How can you, aren't you, isn't your no, mother see, it's. Are you what dumb about your mother and your no, sisters? No, I'm not, I'm seeking, I'm seeking yes. the female blondes well, you don't now. Have to be dumb I mean, to be a I'm not saying all blondes are dumb, Excuse but me. every single one that I've ever met I happen are to be a natural blonde. Oh, I got blonde. news you for you. My girlfriend has the right natural blonde. She's a blonde. Because I'm not very sophisticated. Absolutely. Did you hear it? You have no, to watch what's happening here. Uh, okay. What Ava, Paul, she was earlier over there. I yeah. stated an old saying, men marry blonde, date blondes, but marry brunettes. When it comes to women, men can settle down and be happy with a blonde. 
Yes. No? Men can be euphoric with a blonde. Make the only reason. I think the only reason that most men settle for a brunette is because most men settle, period. I'd rather have the cream of the crop, the best of the best. And if you can get, if you can get a deliciously beautiful, blondes are, 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 are sexual and Paul, sensual Paul. and intelligent Paul. and lovely. Wait a minute. I, now Bill said he never went out. Bill said his only experience was founded. with one blonde that was da 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 da. I have the complete opposite experience. Unlike Bill, I have had the luxury of being able to date a lot of women, both brunettes. So he's and a womanizer. Blonde, okay? So I can tell you that brunettes, I'm not here to What's denounce brunettes. What's wrong with being a womanizer? Brunettes are he's beautiful. He's using women girls. because they have blonde brunettes hair. Brunettes are beautiful, wonderful people. Apparently not. But, but when it comes to sensuality and cream of the crop, blondes emanate. They emanate everything a guy wants in a woman. Blondes have more fun, and I love them. They do not have more fun. Richard Bain, sit down. <laughs> Shot out. I'm not a blonde, but I do believe that blondes are stereotyped. You might find a ditzy blonde, but you're going to find a, a, an intelligent blonde with a that's good true. heart and a, and a good mind. I don't think that's all true. Yes, sir. Let me read you but something. The problem you. is, you attract what you are. You find the dead dead because you're all There are a lot of people up here who seem to have a problem. They seem to think that the color of your hair affects your mind, how you like do she things. Said, like she doesn't. said earlier, she has it to act like a blonde. I, I see some women up like here that could have their hair any color, and, and, and they would still before, look very I, you bad. That you get things. And, and another thing, I learned, I learned because I pleaded with my girlfriend to, to dye her hair blonde. She dyed her hair blonde. I loved her with blonde hair. One day I found myself buying her brunette wig just to have a change of pace. Yeah, so the bottom okay. line is, it's in your mind, and if you think that all blondes are good or all redheads or all brunettes, then that means you have a problem. No. So why, why is it? Yes, ma'am. Her turn. You need stereotypes. You're right. Go ahead. No. Personally, I think that um, people are just using this hair color thing as a cover up for their low self esteem. Because I there's no way in the world that a person can actually say that these women on the panel will actually have more fun than a person, you know, who is young and is, you know, if they think they're young and they, you know, are confident with themselves, they will emanate I'm very the fact that. To get to that point briefly, people keep confident. saying the color of your hair. I completely agree with somebody out here. The previous segment said, you have fun, you are what you are because of your inside, because of your heart, because of your soul. There's no doubt about it. But I will have to make the argument that the outside of you has a lot to do with how you feel inside. That's right. Okay? And, so and there's a lot of brunettes out there who want to be blonde, blonde because inside. Why they, it, it makes them freer. Right. They want to have a little fun. Head. They want to they have that eminence that a real blonde has. I don't, has. Care. What I don't have a fake blonde. Why is that blonde? blonde? <laughs> Sally. Yeah. Can I read something just really quick? It's no, a really I quick. Want, I want to correct something okay, you said well, about it, me. Whenever, whenever I let you go. All right. A friend of mine, Rick, right there in front, in the front row back there, found us in the paper today. Okay. It says, "Gentlemen prefer brunettes with a question mark." Now, an amazing news survey reveals that men much prefer women with brown hair as opposed to blondes, black-haired women, or redheads. Of 2,000 men surveyed, this is probably like over in the New York area, the New York paper. Probably. By the magazine International Men, 52% picked brunettes. 22%. Pick blondes, 19 pick black hair, and 7% 7, 7 pick blonde, or uh, excuse me, redheads. Only 7% pick redheads? Yeah. Now I'm angry. Well, you're strawberry blonde. So you're what like, do they mean by that? You're, you're strawberry blonde. So you're you're no, kind of no, an no, airhead no, and you're no. kind of not. Okay, it's it's your kind of balanced. Sally, I want to correct something he said. I did not say that I pretend to be dumb. I said that people, it's a persona. Thank you. Wait, who said it? Wait, wait, wait. It's a persona and people. And confidence. I'm sorry. And I am I'm sorry. let them. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm speaking to the gentleman in the black. I the gentleman in the black people said want to think I'm dumb, that I blondes, the blondes were sexual, sensuous, Go, beautiful. He said all of that, and uh, but look at me, I'm all so sexy, sensual, beautiful, and, and I am 68 years old, so it's all in your head. Time to
to stay with us because coming up next, I'll be. Cu- I promised I'd do the second half of the show as a brunette. Not uh. that I'm thrilled about that. We'll be right back. Ready to see me as a brunette? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. No, huh? Yeah. How many like it by hands? How many don't like it? Good, I agree with you. <laughs> All right, I said I'm going to do it half the time. Did you know the number of women who color their hair is 35 million? That is one-third of the female population. Do you know that just in North America, we spend $16 billion a year on our hair? Well, what are we spending all that money on? A lot of people say blonde is the way to go. Why does America have a fascination with blondes to help us understand this more clearly? Please welcome one of our favorite people, the host of Z100's Love Phones here in New York, Dr. Judith Koryansky. Wait a minute. Dr. Judith, what happened? You have a new look. I do. I think Sally looks just as beautiful in brown hair as she does. Thank you. Dr. Judy, what are you doing with your hair? Okay, well, I'm wearing this wig, which is striped with pink and purple stripes here, right? You could see them. A lot of the young people who call my radio show, who call Love Phones, have hair like this. You go to the rock concerts, you'll see them. They're copying after the uh, groups like Green Day that have purple hair, bright purple hair, and you heard a lot of the rock music. And a lot of the reason, I think, is what the point is today, to understand why we have an attitude about color, that color is a way to rebel, to maybe prove yourself different than for kids against their parents or against society, or to feel something about yourself that you're special, that you stand out in the crowd. But also young people are doing this. So would you prefer me like this? No. No. Why not, though? I'm doing this because it's also to prove the point that it's not what's on your head that matters as much as what's in your head. Adrian had all these wigs, right? Okay, I'm going to ask you, Adrian, if you mind, would you would you put this on? And how are you going to feel? Because that oh, she's a good sport. She's a good sport. But now the point is, am I is, sexy or what? Is this me? <laughs> Who's this guy the back here? Is, that me? The point is, the, the point is, how do you feel now? Like a fat, bald person. Uh, <laughs> Why is that? Now, I'm not saying you wouldn't stand out in the crowd, believe me. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> but but, but to me, blonde? Blonde? Yeah, but you should blonde. feel okay. Oh! Dr. Judy. Would you go out of the house looking at okay. Dr. Judy, wow. listen to what he just said. What did you just say? I said blondes don't have more fun, they just have better PR. Oh. That may be. Okay, I love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask something else and try something. For it's so important for Craig here, right, to have Kim have her hair be blonde, like the Playboy models, by the way, right? Is that what you're looking at? Okay. Could you put this on her and let's see whether or not you can. Now, what's important to Kim is for Craig, her husband, to love her for who she is inside, right? Okay. So you put that on her. 
Now, oh, there can, goes your hair. Right? Oh, now, can you love her even if she had no hair? This is a test, right? I mean, don't we say, would you love me if uh, I my blonde wig. didn't have big breasts? Would you love me? Would you love her no matter well, if even she had it, no so hair? She likes it. Would you? Uh, I don't know. I think it would depend on the situation, why she was bald. <laughs> Okay, I've been waiting from the beginning of the show for you two blondes. I am blonde, I have my hair highlighted, I'm in show business, but you two give any male or female a bad name. Because you both sit up there. I disagree. I have got three corporations. My, I have a son at home that could be the next Macaulay Culkin. He does Sinatra care. tunes. They're all blonde, they're all very smart. It doesn't but matter. That when people see you, that they don't think that you are dumb. There is a persona and a lot I of am not dumb. Say, I didn't no. say you were dumb. No. I'm saying people what was judge that? you Wait, and what? say you are, and you can sit there and just be quiet about it. Blonde and brunette like comparing furniture. You have wood and you have wicker. What you stands wicker. out? Wicker. Old and tired. Oh. She's the model and actress who wanted to go blonde to help with her career. Well, you're not going to believe how dramatic the change is. And we're going to hear from Kim and find out if, uh, after all, she's heard. I don't know if she's even going to go home with her husband tonight. Uh, stay with us. And Dr. Judy's going to explain the blonde myth. We'll be right back. Welcome back. In case your TV looks a little funny, it's me. Don't try to adjust the set. <laughs> I am wearing this for half the show at a deference to our brunette sisters. As I said, I am naturally, I start out as a bright redhead and then it got kind of reddish blonde, but I don't want to play favorites, so I decided that this is the way I would go. And if you like this more, you can write to the producers and tell them. I don't know if I'll do it, but what the heck. <laughs> Uh, let's go. Is it just the hair? Let's go for another change. Lewis, you hold this. Of course. And this. I'm going to, I'm so bored with these glasses. There you go. As long as I'm changing the hair color. But, um, yes, change the glasses, for goodness sakes. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. B-52s. Man. Straight out of the B-52s. Oh, lovely. Take the glasses off. I'm there. sorry, guys. I've been wearing those darn red glasses. It's gotten to me. Remember we met Katie. Katie is a brunette actress and model who wanted to change her hair color. She said it might help her career. She, anyhow, she's going to have more fun. We put her in the trusting and creative hands of Clarol's color consultant, who must enjoy seeing those commercials. That oh, we've it's been fun, seeing. right? Yeah. This is Louis Lacari, and I think we can't wait to see Katie's new look. First, let's take a quick look at how Katie looked before we changed her hair. There she is. Now let's see Katie's new blonde bombshell look, if it is indeed. Come on out, Katie. <laughs> guys, what do you think, guys? <laughs> Mayhem. Katie, how do you like it? How do you like it? Go back. Go back. You really look great. What did you do to her? Okay, now. I mean, the guys really like it. Right, now, Katie wanted to be blonde, and here she is. She's glamorous, she's sexy, she's an ultimate blonde. And uh, what we did is uh, we added this ultimate shine, and she can do this at home with a product like uh, Ultress. Now, uh, which I did is I took her, she was beautiful as a brunette, and now she's beautiful as a blonde. It's just a different way to look at Katie. Boy, she looks different, Louis. Yeah. She really, well, this, this is Ultress? You did that yes. with a bottle at a store? Exactly, and this is, this is, you know, I think this is just a little bit sexier persona. And certainly, when she walks in a room, people are going <laughs> to take, you know, do a double take. You got to take notice. Don't you feel different? Yeah. 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 Ye
Well, I think she looks yeah. pretty. I think she looks very pretty, but she's also in a red slinky That's dress right. now, and she wasn't that way before. Why? But it makes you feel better about yourself. Why, why, does what? The, why does your hair color have to make you look feel, feel why better? Why do you feel better? All right, they're at it again, Lois. It's well, you and I. I left here. I like the way I look. It's his turn. Certainly, you know, like uh, Katie was beautiful before. I think they're annoyed that she's wearing a red dress. Is what I, I think that's gotten to them. Get that weave or something tape out of her head. Uh -oh. Before they get into a fight, <laughs> what product did you use exactly? Uh, this is this is we use a product just like Old Press, so she can keep this up at home. She only has to do it every four to six weeks. The other great thing about coloring today is that it has a ton of conditioners in it. And the fact that you know it's perfect to use this product in the summer because it'll keep the hair shiny and really work with the sun and the water and all the things you do in the summer. Now you do this for a living, and I think Dr. Judy will tell you something. Men are ten times worse about their hair than women, aren't they? Yes, they're worse about not the color of it, but whether or not it's on their head at all. And they are that much more about it at all. I got to tell you something, Louis. I was in a department store in Paris recently, three weeks ago. And I go there regularly to see what's new in the hair colors, and it all used to be women. One major company, half of the hair products are now men with men's faces on the box. You know really? how they do with women? Yes. How they say number 32, livid blonde? <laughs> Only there's a guy's face on the box, and it's 32. And Certainly wearing... more and more men are coloring their hair. It is a whole new oh market. My. And I think that, uh, you know, uh, men... Certainly with women, women, hair can look colored, it can look like fashion. Men are still at the point, I think, where they want their hair color to look very believable. Oh, are yeah. Blondes, don't, don't blondes have to update the color of their hair, too, because certain shades of blonde go out of style and you need a... Uh, Platinum is kind of out, isn't it? Well, uh, I think that you certainly, you know, you could always change your color. I think the easiest way to stay up to date is to be constantly changing. Usually it's a series of small changes. No, Tell that to our uh, executive yeah. producer. The way to stay up to date is constantly to change. Stay with I us. Have a, I have a question. <laughs> Go ahead. Sure. Um, I have a question for Kim. Your husband thinks that you are more fun and more passionate as a blonde. Do you think your personality has changed, and do other people treat you differently as well now that you're brunette? Um, well, I think after having our second child, I've calmed down quite a bit because i got to be mom and not some party Doc, girl. Dr. Judith, yeah. what do you make of I, this couple? I think, yeah, that's, that's part of it, really, is that Kim has an image of herself, is it's not appropriate as a mom to be wild and crazy and sexy. I think what's important here, too, is that for Craig, wanting her to be blonde, it isn't just that. He wants you to be a little sexy and kind of a little more uninhibited. You don't have to so be wait, that, though, wait, wait one second. So then what is it really what is it really, Craig, that regardless of Kim's hair color, what would you really like her to do in bed? And he wants to have more fun in bed. He wants her to be wild, crazy, no, sexy, no, 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 lovely. No, 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 Maybe, maybe some handcuffs every once in a while? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've solved the problem. Blonde handcuffs. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what are you going to do? I think I'm going to go for it, but for me, not for him. Okay. How important should hair color be? Don't judge a person by the follicles on their head. Instead, look what's inside their heart and soul. And it doesn't matter whether you're a blonde, a brunette, a redhead, or even gray. I think you're all beautiful. Till next time, have a wonderful day.